I'd like to respond to a few comments I got on my last video. Uh, my last video about being pro-drugs and anti-cop. Uh, a lot of people were saying things like, Oh, how cute! The little rich white boy is going to rebel against authority. Wow, isn't that just precious? Little smarmy remarks, little sarcastic jabs at, uh... Because as you can see, this is not... I'm not living in the ghetto, as you can clearly see behind me. Uh... <clears throat> thing is, you know, first of all, I understand the point you're trying to make, and it does hold a measure of validity. But to try to say that someone has to have experienced a problem personally in order for them to object to it is kind of, is just really fucking strange. It's like, well, you're not allowed to be anti-war because you've never fought in a war. Unless you fought in a war, you can't possibly be anti-war. Personal experience can make a person's resolve a lot stronger. But to say that that's a prerequisite to believe anything is just preposterous on so many levels that it, it doesn't even really, uh, I don't even think I should have to address it. But another thing you should understand is that uh, even though our family is doing well right now, it has not always been the case, okay? When I was about uh, 10, 11 years old, my, uh, my family was living in uh, you know, a nice big mansion on the fucking river with jet skis and a little party barge and all kinds of neat stuff like that, all kinds of neat gadgets and millions of dollars. And then a year later, I'm living in a uh, little itty bitty rented house. And then about a year after that, we're living in uh, over in Washington, Washington State. And we're renting a house there, pretty nice neighborhood. Next thing we know, we're renting a house in a shitty neighborhood. Next thing we know, we're back in Louisiana, running a trailer. All within a few years, I go from the high life in the mansions and all that to living in a trailer down in the south, neighborhoods that cops do not come to unless they are called to come there. You know, the, 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 the people there who live there are white, but if you ask any any, but, you know, do you really think that the uh, upper echelon of society distinguishes between the lower class redneck white nigger and the ghetto black nigger? We're all niggers to them, okay? The upper echelon of society, it views every lower class person as just its little slave boys, their little fucking go-to men, their little uh, indentured servants that will work for fucking peanuts. <clears throat> And they're the ones that own the fucking cops. They're the ones that own every fucking thing. They own all the papers. They own the cops. They own everybody. And I'm not suggesting some kind of vast conspiracy here. There's no, it's not a conspiracy. It's just the order of nature. It's uh, We're a hierarchical species, and that's just how things uh, develop. <clears throat> Once you can see the cage you're in, the problem becomes, how do we escape this cage? And I don't have the answer to that question. I'm still looking for the answer myself. And even if I did have the answer, I'm sure most people wouldn't listen to it. But I'm just trying to wake everyone up. I'm trying to tell everyone that they need to look for that answer. And fascism doesn't always march down the fucking streets waving a big fucking banner. It doesn't always... Uh, it's not going to tell you it's fucking fascism. Fascism always says... You know, fascism always hides behind freedom and patriotism and all the things that are really good. They say, oh, yeah, we love freedom, and we, we, we want uh, people to, you know, prosper and, uh, you know, live happy lives and all this stuff. And they always hide behind that little mask. You know, you can't just listen to what they're saying. You have to go by what they do. And it seems like a lot of people aren't willing to do that in this country. Everyone is just looking at the fucking surface. They, you know, if, if, the, if they're waving the American flag and they're saying freedom, then God damn it, that's what they must stand for. They never pay any attention to what they actually fucking do. They say, oh, well, no, they'll, well, they, it's all right that they wiretap me because I'm never saying anything. Only the terrorists have anything to worry about if we're being wiretapped. They don't understand that it's, a, that it's not just about, you know, it's not just about, oh, well, you know, that's their problem or whatever. But, uh, you know, do you really want government compendiums upon, on you? I know I don't want any on myself, not because everything I'm doing is illegal, but there's a lot of stuff that I would rather keep to my fucking self. Of course... The government is so incompetent, they couldn't possibly keep tabs on every fucking buddy anyway. It's like my dad is fond of saying, yeah, when they watch everyone, they watch no one. 
but still, that doesn't mean we should uh, be lax and uh, and stop worrying about them because they are out there. They're out trying to fucking, um, you know, why why do we have such a high incarceration rate in this country? Why are so many people in fucking prison in this country? We have more people in prison in America than they do in any other fucking country in the world per capita. <clears throat> I believe, uh, you know, we 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 you know, aside from uh, nations like China, we put more people to death than any other civilized country on the planet. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Why are we this fucking draconian? Why are we trying? Why, why are we this? Um, why are we? Why are we so judicial? I don't understand that. I mean, that's not what our, I mean. If you read our Constitution, it's it's fucking astounding. If you read the Bill of Rights, you go through the Bill of Rights. Almost every one of those um, those rights guaranteed by our founding fathers uh, relate to the rights of criminals. Why were our founding fathers so concerned with the rights of criminals, you may ask? Well, because they were criminals. They were criminals. They were terrorists. You know, they were um, the freedom fighters of their age. And if they'd have lost, we'd probably be talking about what an evil bunch of fuckers, fuckers they were. But since they won, we live in a country now that, that praises their, their names but doesn't remember their spirit. And... Uh, you know, we need to educate people about that. We need to get people to realize that this is not that the country is not going in the direction that it was intended to. <clears throat> anyway, I guess that's all I have to say right now. I just wanted to make that correction to the people who were talking about it. I know I went off on a tangent, but that's fine because you guys have nothing better to do. Peace out. <laughs>